These are level three baddies. Oh shit, what the hell's that? That's you. Throwing bombs at me, man? That's not allowed. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get going with the blacksmith here. Um, I am, I'm still over across the way here, just gathering resources, and I came up this path. Uh, just right around the corner is, is the building that we got the blacksmith from, and I found a flame shrine. I had no idea this was, was here. Um, so I believe what this will do is it'll give us a spark that we can then upgrade the flame with. Um, there we go. Yeah, cool. Uh, so I had no idea this was here. So very, very nice to find that because what the, among other things, when we upgrade the flame, uh, we can have more of those shrines. We can put more of them down and they're very useful for, you know, as fast travel, um, you know, mechanisms. So cool. Yeah. So I, d I, d I definitely wanted to show you guys that. Is there anything else around the corner here? It, it just really seems like it pays to explore in this game. Here is a little um, cobblestone, or not cobblestone, uh, flintstone mine. So that's cool, but I don't need any of that stuff right now. We might, um, you know, use some of that. Well, you know, we can use it to make arrows, of course. But we might use some of that later to make ourselves a big old batch of flint arrows before we go in and take on the boss. So yeah, that was really cool to find that. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to cut the camera here and just kind of keep gathering stuff. And then I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to, to do the blacksmith thing. All right, guys, we are back at the base. Um, I did some more work outside, so let's take a look and see what we did out here. Um, as you can see, we put a boardwalk around the house, and I decided to use wood for that. Um, and then I did a a little kind of fence thing here with with some stone um, and little wood blocks. And then I put some torches, some sanding torches, up on these pillars. I, I need to make six more of those, but they require resin, and resin's not super easy to come by, at least not with the stone axe. Um, so I'll have to, you know, I'll have to finish the rest of those later. But I think it looks pretty good. It, it adds a lot more pizzazz here to our house. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's things we could maybe do up on the roof in the upper corner too to add a little, even a little more to it. One thing I haven't really been able to figure out is on this side of the house, up in these corners, it kind of puts like a little ang angular thing, which looks really cool, but I couldn't, I couldn't get it to do that. Um, it kind of, yeah, I guess I kind of did it there, but over here, yeah, over here, it's just like a straight corner. So I don't know. I don't know. It's really weird. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, yeah, so if you guys if you guys know what the deal is with that, that'd be fantastic. Um, and I did have to do a little bit of terraforming over here, you know, to, to get all that to fit. But I think it looks fine. I think, I think it looks really nice. Okay, well, anyway, we are going to go ahead and do the blacksmith. Um, get the blacksmith out and get all the stuff that we can get from him because um, we'll be able to get a lot better equipment once uh, once we got him going uh, I put a fireplace over by the bed too because I was noticed when I would sleep at night I would get cold and then I'd have to run back over here to warm up and it doesn't work to I, I mean I can warm up by the flame altar but then I lose the shelter you know kind of thing so um, so I put that over there too and then I, I decided to go ahead and move this storage into here just because it was such a pain in the butt to keep having to run out there to get it but this isn't where I'm planning on actually keeping storage. I just have those there temporarily. I happened to fi find some nails when I was out and about when I broke some stuff. And that unlocked the recipe for the... Uh, where is it at? Storage. Uh, for, for the better storage box. But it takes six nails to make one. And I can't... You know, and I need the blacksmith to make the nails. Oh, you know what else we need to do? We need to make the summoning staff too. So let's see. What do we need for that? Uh, just one twig. Okay, well, that's uh, very doable. I've got quite a few resources here just from, you know, grinding and doing this and that. So we're in pretty good shape for resources. But, you know, I, hopefully once we make the better axe, 
that gives us a better chance of um, getting more resin. Or if nothing else, at least it will allow us to, um, you know, cut the trees down more quickly, I'm guessing. Or I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know what we'll to see. Okay, so for the blacksmith, I'm kind of thinking maybe we set him over here and then we could maybe have like the kiln and the forge out here in the courtyard because that's not generally something you want to put inside. I I'm not sure how big they are though either. So, um, it, well, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's just put the blacksmith down maybe in this corner because we can always move him too. Uh, okay, summoning staff. We'll just set him right there. Uh, oh, no, we got to do this. Oi! Oi! All right, cool. <laughs> we got ourselves a, a blacksmith. Okay, so this guy can... He's going to give us some quests. He can make a few things for us um, just in his own inventory. But we, we need to get a, um, a kiln and a smithy or forge or whatever it is going. Where there's fire, there's hope. Okay, so, oh, he, oh, does he himself need to be sheltered? Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's move him then. Um, we'll do this. Ready the summoning staff in. Oh, that's weird. I can't move my camera while I'm in this mode. So let's do this. Let's just put him right here then. Oh, what? Hold on a second. Okay, yeah, let me turn this way. We'll just set him right here. Hey! Okay. And then if we... Now if we talk to him... Yeah, it, he's sheltered. Okay, cool. Okay, crafting first gear. <laughs> Took you long enough to find me? Look at you, weak and puny. And they call you a flameborn? First thing you need is a weapon. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or a spike club will serve us well. Us? Are you going to go into combat with me? Okay. And then cleansing fire. Embervale can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers. Kid, the shroud suffocates the valley, so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on. I'm counting on you, flameborn. Okay, so that's the quest to go get the, um, um, the, the first boss. Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. Okay, so that, that's it for, for quests that we got from him. Um, now, if we go into the crafting menu, I think the very first thing I want to... Well, we should probably make these first. Uh, oh, well, I, we have to make this first because this requires charcoal. And we need this to make the charcoal. And that's actually pretty cheap. So let's go. let's go get some stone for that. Okay. All right, and then we'll craft the kiln. And maybe what we'll do with that is, let's put that down here. Could maybe put it in this corner here. And that'll work. Okay. Now, um, we need to put dirt and wood in here to make charcoal. Let's grab some dirt, and we already have some wood. I don't, I don't know how much it needs to make a batch. Does it tell us? Oh, yeah, 17 and 3. Okay. So, uh, I don't know how to separate one thingy. I mean, I obviously, you can split the stack, but how do you pull, like, just one off of here? Shift click, control click, none of that works. So I'm not really sure. Seems there's got to be a better way than that, but whatever. We'll just put four in there. Um, actually, no, you know what? Let's put eight in there. Uh, maybe 16. And I've got a full stack of wood, so I think I'm going to put all of that in there. And we'll just make as much charcoal as whatever that will make for us. So it looks like we can make a total of four, which would give us uh, 60 in total. Okay, here's a little thing you guys didn't know. If you go in your inventory and you press T, it 
groups everything back together, which is nice. Okay, we'll put that stuff back. Um, and then uh, the other thing that's cool about the workstations is if you get near them, it'll it shows you the timer on the top, so you don't even have to open it up, which is cool. Okay, now next thing we're gonna do is we're going to I want to get the fur armor set going. Um, we need to make some nails. The forge will, yeah, we can't do anything with the forge until we get the charcoal, but we want to make sure we save 10 metal scraps for that. But I think I have over 40 of those. So let's go to fur armor set. This is what we want here. So we're going to need cloth, animal fur, and string. And some metal scraps. Yeah, okay. Break your leg. No, I'd rather not break my leg. Okay, let's just grab all the fur that we have. And I have, yeah, I have 46 of those. Um, let's grab all the cloth that we have and all the string that we have. So right now, um, I think if we go into here, we're going to... No, that's not what we want. We want attributes. Okay, so right now we just have 17 physical resistance and 17 magical resistance. But once we make all these pieces, then we're going to be quite a bit stronger. Okay, so let's make the hat, chest piece, gloves, pants, and boots. You're still here. I'm still here. All right, cool. Now... Equip. Cool. Now we have 54 physical and magical resistance. So that's a, a significant increase in our our toughness. Um, and it it still looks kind of peasanty, but much better than the than the rag we've been wearing all along. Okay, so we got that done. Now, um, you know what? We need to do the strength and the flame thing, too, because I've got that. We found that spark earlier. You've awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. Okay, so to strengthen the flame, see, this is going to require. Um, I got a little bit of shroud liquid. That's going to require five resin. Okay, I'll tell you what, we don't need we don't need to do this immediately. Um It'll give us an attribute bonus, give us another minute in the shroud. You know what though? That actually would be useful for the boss fight. We should really try and do this um before we start the boss fight. But there's a couple more things that are a little bit higher priority, like getting the forge, for example, um first. Okay. How are we doing here? We, we got a minute and 24 seconds. Okay, let's look at uh, what else we, we might, might want to make. Um, we're going to want to make... Yeah, let's make this spiked club, but before we do that, we need nails. Uh, oh, he can... I guess he just makes nails for us. Oh, okay. I thought we had to do that like in the in the forge. Okay, so let's just go go get some wood. I got like two full stacks of wood there. Um, I don't... Well, I guess we'll hang on to these for, for now. I think... I, the thing is, though, is if we die, we don't lose our armor or our, anything on our toolbar. We just lose stuff in our inventory. So with that being said, I don't, I don't I don't see any reason why we should hang on to this stuff. Let's just get rid of it. Save some space. Okay, so that's gone. Let's grab our um Oh, actually no, let's finish let's make our club. So this does 17 damage as opposed to what was this doing? 11. Um, so that's an upgrade for our, our weapon. Nice. 
Okay, so that's done. Let's grab the first batch of charcoal out of here. And now, let's see what else we need. Uh, wood acid. Oh, cool. Okay, I think we maybe use that for alchemy or something. Um, we just need to get 30 stone. We're moving up in the world, people. Okay. All right, let's make the forge. You got a heart of steel. Oh, nice. We we can do the rising fighter. That's the next level of armor. Hmm, okay. So, maybe I shouldn't have wasted materials on the... Well, that's okay. We might not be able to get to that immediately, so... How big is this thing? Oh, it's not that big. Okay. Um, I don't think it needs to be under shelter, does it? Not sure. Why don't we put it right here? Don't make me tell you again. Clear that elixir well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to it. Okay. So this allows us to make metal sheets, which we are going to need for that rising fighter um, armor thingy. Okay, so, th so it'll take two scraps to make one sheet plus the charcoal. We have 29 left in terms of the scraps. So how much, how many metal sheets do we need to make rising fighter? Um, oh, we can make a better shield too. Wow, five metal sheets. That's, that's expensive. Well, I mean, I guess it's only 10 scrap. Uh, rising fighter set. That's going to require resin. Okay, so in total, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need a total of nine metal sheets to make this armor. Look, we get health regeneration too. That's nice. Extra health, extra melee damage, extra health. Yeah, we... Wow, nice. 11% melee critical strike chance. We've got to get that armor. Um, we don't necessarily need to get it before we do the boss fight, but we should get it soon. Uh, okay, so what else do we want to make? We want to upgrade our axe and our pick. So let's do that next. So we need shroud wood. Okay. I got that. We got 11 pieces. Okay, so let's make the scrappy axe and then let's. We got everything we need for the pickaxe too. Nice. Okay, so. Um, Let's just delete those. If we ever had to make them again for any reason, they're super easy to make. Okay, so we got an upgrade for our tools, which is great. And um, this we can salvage for runes. So let's do that. Let's do it. Oh, I was going to sh show you guys. I found uh, when I was out looting, I found this. It, well, I guess this is the elixir. This is the actual stuff that's causing all the trouble. But it's 30% damage multiplier, but it one less minute in the shroud so we can basically counter that by upgrading the flame let's talk to him again is there anything else besides let's see we, i don't really uh, i'd like to make this shield but that's another five metal sheets but that's a very nice shield we've already done oh we could do this Yeah, we can make the sword, too. Piercing and blunt. Cutting, piercing, blunt, and even a little bit of poison. But one less damage. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, well, let's keep that in mind. We don't necessarily need that right at the moment. So, I think the next priority is... Let's go ahead and... See strengthen the flame so whoops hold on we'll go back there again can i pin this i don't see that option 
Okay, so we need five shroud liquids, bone, mushroom, and resin. I don't know if I have all of that. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, I got shroud liquids there. I have 18 resin and bone. I think that's everything we needed, right? Oh, and mushrooms, right. Mushrooms. I only have two of those, but those are all over the place. I haven't really bothered to pick them much just because they're really more for casters. I'm not planning on doing a whole lot of magic with our first run through, but I might do another playthrough at some point in the future um, with a magic character. That could be fun. Okay, that should be enough mushrooms. Whoops, six. Yeah, that's enough. House, house looks pretty good, actually. You know, not too bad. It, once we get the rest of the torches up, it'll look even better. I like it. There we go. Strengthen the flame. Saw wheat. Cool. So now we can have four flame altars, and we can use those for uh, for waypoints, or I mean for um, fast travel points. My glow and warmth reach further into the darkness. Thanks to you, Flameborn, I am strong enough to protect your home should you choose to expand it. Okay, cool. Um, the next time we do this, it will, oh wow, it requires five sparks to do it the next time. Scavenger matron head, all right. Um, but then that bumps up to six. Shroud passage level three, six level. It must be like different levels of shroud. That bumps up to seven minutes in attribute bonus. Speaking of attribute bonus, if we go into here, um, does it just experience points? Does it just assign it one to each? I think it. I think it did. Huh. Okay. Cool. Very cool. The spark of knowledge has erupted within. Ready yourself to unveil the secrets of our past. Find the two ancient obelisks of the Springlands to learn the world's fate. A story of rot and fire. Only those who seek the truth shall find it. Okay, that gives us another quest to work on. Very cool. Um, all right. Now, I think really what's left to do is, you know, make some nails. Um, so, uh, yeah, so let's do that. Let's make the nails... See, I think we need six per bin. Um, and that'll, that'll allow us to make two storage bins of the better ones. And these have more storage space inside of them. And I think I'll just put those put that down there. I think we'll just put those next to the crafting table. Very cool. Okay, so these have uh, three rows of slots, whereas the other ones only have two. So that gives us a lot of nice storage. Um, I'll still hang on to these, you know, for now too. Maybe we'll kind of use them for more miscellaneous kinds of things, but I'll mess with that later. I'm not gonna do a bunch of inventory management on camera. Okay, so we got the flame upgraded. Um, I think What's mostly left now is we're just going to have to go get a shit ton of metal scraps so we can start making metal sheets. Uh, we're going to need a total of 14, I think, to make the rising fighter set and the shield. And although I'm pretty confident I could take the boss with the leather, we might as well just make the good stuff um, first. And that just even makes things... Uh, more likely, you know, that, that will be successful. Not that I, again, but I'm too worried about it. Okay, so um, we need charcoal in there, right? Okay, so let's grab the next thing of charcoal. Uh, we'll stick it all in here. 
And I'm just going to dump all the metal scraps that I have in here now. Wait. Did I not put charcoal in there? I didn't. Okay. So that'll get us um, four metal sheets. But yeah, I'm going to have to just go out and um, farm up a whole bunch of metal. So... I think what I'll do here then, guys, is cut the camera, go out, get a bunch of scrap metal, and when I have enough metal sheets, I will, and, and everything else I need to make the Rising Fighter set and the shield, I'll bring you guys back. We'll make that, and then we'll go after that boss. Um, before I let you go, though, yeah, that's the boss fight there. Right here on my upgrade the altar. We will be able to do this after we kill the, the boss because it gives us the thing we need to do that. There's these two quests here. That gives us another spark. That gives us... I think we use that to, to kill a root, which get, I think that gives us an XP point. Um, I'm not so sure I'm ready to do those quests yet, though. So, yeah, so I'm going to let you go here. Uh, well, not let you go. I'm going to cut the camera here and just go farm up a crap ton of metal. So I'll see you guys in a little while. All right, guys, we are back, and uh, we have all of the metal plates that we need. Um, and one more, actually. I think we only needed 14, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, so I just went out and got a whole bunch of metal scraps. Uh, I found out that you can actually break the... You know, the old pods, the cryo chamber thingamadoodles uh, with your pick, and you can get metal from those too. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and make our stuff now. So, uh, we'll start with the shield, I guess. Uh, so, we need six string and two wood logs. Grab that first. Let's just grab all of the string and we'll grab those logs. And that should be enough for us to make the shield. Boom. Nice. Okay, so, um, um, let's see here. So this gives us 7 block, 20 parry power, and 100% max durability. This is only 2 block, 10 parry power, and 80 max durability. So, pretty significant upgrade. Let's equip that. Uh, don't think we need this for anything anymore. Um, so let's just get rid of it. Too bad we couldn't scrap it. Okay, look at that shield, man. Nice. Very nice. I went ahead and made a scrappy sword, too, so we'll have both the sword and the, the club here. Okay, now, what do we need for all these armor pieces? So we're going to need fur and resin, and we already got the string. Okay, so let's just go grab a pile of fur and a pile of resin. Uh, there's the resin, and there's the fur. That should be enough to make the whole thing. Okay, let's do this. Need to make some more string. Not a problem. Let's grab about half of this and we're just going to make a crap ton of string. I think it was the pants that we still needed, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so right now um, we have 54 physical, 54 magical. So with this stuff, we now have 103 physical. So that didn't that didn't really give us a whole lot more magical. 
fact, a little tiny bit less, but a lot more physical, like pretty much almost twice that. Plus the fact that um, we get we get some bonuses too, don't we? Probably what, yeah, that's what these percentages are here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, it even tells us what's given it to us. So, 11% melee critical strike chance from the helmet. Um, that gives that just gives us straight up 60 health. Uh, wearing that, that gives us plus two melee. Stamina for parry proficiency. Okay. Um, how come the pants don't show up? We got the other pieces, but not the pants. I guess because it just gives us health. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Look at that up in the upper left-hand corner. The all the extra health we have, and it's um. It's, it's still kind of raggedy looking, but we're looking a little bit better, man. We are looking a little bit better. Okay, I think we are ready to go clear the elixir well. What's this? Um, okay, so yeah, set this. I guess that is the active quest. Show on map. Okay, so Flame Shrine, Ancient Vault, Blacksmith. All right, so yeah, we looks like we got to go down into the uh, the stuff here, and then turn right and go that way, or we could actually just use our glider to go down there. Um, okay, so what we want to make sure and do is, you know what. You know what we could do is just to give ourselves another minute or two on the rested. Eh, I don't think it's going to matter that much. It's going to say we could temp put a temporary flame altar down there. But we got our full rested bonus. We're going to use uh, the water, wolf, ribs, and corn on the cob for the three food buffs. And we also have... A full stack of honeycomb, a full stack of berries, 14 health potions, and 18 bandages. So I think we're in pretty darn good shape. Plus, we're going to, once we get down there, um, we're going to take this, too. I found another one of these, too. This is the thing that gives us 30% more damage, but a minute of less time in the shroud. Okay, so we need to go this way. sure we have full stem and actually you know what I'm gonna do is let's take these now look at we got even more health now and a melee damage bonus it's a beautiful thing uh, okay so uh, I guess we head down there let me look at the map again for a second we need to go actually go more this way Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Location down that way. Get our stamina back. Elixir well. All right. So, these are level three baddies. Oh shit, what the hell's that? That's you. Throwing bombs at me, man? That's not allowed. Cut that out. Um, I think I had, yeah, one more thing to loot over here. Uh, 
Okay, lots of stuff we could bust up for loot, loot and things, but let's not worry about that right now. Um, it says the location is above. Like up here? That thing uh, gives us our shroud um, timer back to. Okay, let's do this. This would go down here. Down here. I don't know if we should be using the... There's the root thing we gotta kill. I don't know if we should be using the club on this guy or the sword, so... I guess we'll start with the club and if it says ineffective... Uh, there's lava down there. Okay, so... Now where do we go? Through here, I think. Okay, so let's take this. Oh, that refreshed our shroud thingy? Oh, he's right here. Shit. Alright. Lock that. Oh, the camera angle got weird there. We're doing some damage to him. Let's take uh, let's take one of these. Alright. I'm not doing the best job of dodging that stuff, but we got a really nice big health pool here, so. That's it? We killed him already? Damn, that was easy. Ooh, look at that. Okay, cool. Uh, now we need to chop this thing down. I didn't realize I was doing that much damage to the guy. <laughs> cool, we got a skill point too. All right, and that also gets rid of the shroud, so we don't need to worry about that. That was um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. It sure was. Okay, cool. Um, So, let's go... Let's go here. We got four points. Um, but this is going to cost us two. Sprinting speed increased by 10% and stamina consumption decreased by 10. So we're going to take that. And then when we get our next two points, uh, then we'll get double jump. So, very cool. So now we can sprint 10% faster, use 10% less stamina. It's not a bad deal at all. All right, um, is there anything down here to loot? Oh, actually, you know what? We need to look at the uh, the new weapon we got. It is a... where did it go? Oh, it's right here. So this is an epic. It's a tainted axe. It does two points or three points less damage than those, but it gives us the ability to upgrade. Increase critical hit chance by 5%. So once we upgrade it, it'll add six points to it and it'll have a total of 20 damage. And I've got lots of, of runes to do the upgrade. So that's pretty nice. I'm happy to happy to get that. Uh, all right, so I guess we're done down here. Uh, we also got the thingamadoodle that lets us expand the size of our flame altar, uh, uh, our building area, and all that kind of thing. Um, you know what? Can we can we just fast travel out of here? Yep. Let's do it. So we definitely over-prepared for this, but that's okay because, you know, the game's going to get 
more difficult as time goes on. Um, so we're just ahead of the game a little bit now. All right, this, I don't know what the hell I use this for. Let's just keep that in there. That's what we'll use to expand our thingy. And I'm gonna also, I'm not gonna get rid of my fur armor just yet. I probably will never wear it again, but. Um, yeah, <laughs> so we'll put that in there. Put this back in here. We have a total of 88 runes. I shouldn't have actually taken all that crap down there with me, but whatever. Okay, so to, um, here, let's expand our thingamadoodle first. Upgrade altar, shroud core one. Cool, so basically doubles our uh, build area. So now the line goes out to, oh, wow. Yeah, that doubled it a lot. My goodness. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we really need any more space for this particular building. But uh, we got it if we want it. Okay, so how do we, how do we upgrade these? Do we talk to you? Oi. Scaling an ancient spire. Embervale has changed before our time. A race of ancients built towers to survey the land and the ancient spires. One is close by. Climb it and discover the world anew. All right, we will do that in the next episode. So how... Oh, enhance equipment. There we go. Okay, cool. All upgradable items from a backpack and action bar are listed here. And it's an item unlocks new perks. Each perk costs runes. Yeah, okay. So... I, s I think we... Let's just take this all the way up. Nice, so it's fully enhanced. Now it's got 20 damage. And uh, cutting, blunt, and cutting. So, so this now has, uh, where's my sword? It's got about the same amount of cutting, maybe just a tiny bit less as the sword. Um, but it's also got a huge amount of blunt. Not quite as much as that one does, though. But this will this will definitely be our main melee weapon for now. And I mean this has some pierce on it. So we'll probably keep it with us, you know, just so we have it. But uh yeah. Nice man. I love it. Okay, so um we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode today. And um I think we'll go ahead and go check that spire out uh, for the next episode. And once once I finish that, then that's as far as I've seen in this game. I haven't, you know, like I said, I've watched a couple of YouTubers play when I was on my business trip, but I haven't watched any of them get beyond the spire. So once we finish that, then everything will be brand new territory and uh, very excited for... Um, uh, for making this happen so thanks everybody for watching hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye